got an impact my freshman year. Met Matt Micah, who uh, used to be play by play director. He was a co host of Green and White Report, actually, before it was a Green and White Report. Um, I met him at the big journalism thing they do for when you're a new major, a first year student coming in. And I was like, yo, I'm trying to get involved. And he was like, show up to a meeting on Wednesday. And I did. Been here ever since. Um, I joined Impact, I think, a year after you did. Yeah. And Davey Siegel and John Simon were the co-hosts of the White Report, and I came here as a marketing major, which I am now. So I wasn't You're really a big in the major. I am, yeah. I thought you were in business. Is that, wait, uh, what's the difference between business and marketing? Marketing is marketing. But it's in the business world, right? Yeah, it oh, is. There's a lot of different majors. <laughs> Sorry, I threw you off. Are you done? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I wasn't really into like the writing or the reporting and stuff, and I just, I have a really big mouth and I like to talk about sports, so I figured I would uh, check out what the Green and White Report was all about, so I sat in on a bunch of shows with Davey and John and just kind of sat around and did updates every now and then, um, and then eventually they gave me an opportunity to co-host when I was out of town. And, uh, I didn't suck at it, so they were like, hey, you should keep coming back and doing this. And then once they graduated, they uh, turned it over to Julian and myself. Uh, I just love sports radio. Growing up in Metro Detroit, like listening to Mike Valeni and Terry Foster and Wojo and Stoney, so I've always like been inclined to wanting to work in sports radio, especially that fact that I'm in the journalism school, so I've always wanted to be involved here. I actually tried to get involved here my freshman year, first semester, but they never emailed me back, whoever was working <laughs> in the sports. Shout out Sats Wysicki, uh, Kyle Turk, and Ryan Cole for not emailing me back, but those guys are still great guys, but didn't email me back. But I came back my second semester when Swy came into uh, Dan Dickerson's play-by-play -play class, and I started getting involved. And, Always want to be a part of Green and White Report among doing other things here. I remember seeing you actually at a men's game. Or no, excuse me, at a women's game. You were in Dan Dickerson's class. Oh, dude. Calling so... the game, and I was like, yo, who is this dude over there? It's so like, oh, that's, me, yeah, that's right, yeah. Collins. So I was yeah, like, yeah. all right. And now here we are. It's yeah. kind of funny. I wasn't here for this one, but I thought the candy one was really good that you guys did <laughs> when I was out of town. About like, your favorite candy. Oh, just in general? Yeah, do you remember that one? It was Halloween. Not really. It was I don't know what it was. It was really good. It was a good one. That one was good. Uh, that was the one where you got on the ET. Oh, yeah. I hate ET. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, it was my ET <laughs> producer show. I wasn't even here, but it was oh. great. Yeah. Oh, man. That's, That's your answer? Oh. <laughs> I mean, it was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of one I like. Go ahead. I don't know. I don't know. We've, we've had a lot of good ones. There's been a lot of really good. Spiders. Now they're all love related because Rabinowitz says he's a love guru. Uh, whatever. Those ones are kind of. <laughs> oh, I did like because it was it was fun because you had a good bit on it. I think we did one. It was like best dates for some holiday. It was something. Oh, fall fall, yeah. fall date activities. Yeah, that was cool. yeah. Collins said one, and he's like, "But I don't go on dates." <laughs> it was hilarious. Yeah. That you kept talking about the, the cider mill. I love the cider mill. <laughs> yeah, no, the fall the fall festivities is a good one. We started talking oh about. yeah, when you're talking about the outfit, you're basically <laughs> being a LLB yeah. catalog model. Fall festivity was, was, was good. Also, I think when we did Christmas movies, and then last year, I don't know if we had Sparty Awards last year, but we did a similar so segment power to where we were talking about Christmas songs, which was good. Those get funny. Yeah, that one was good. Ooh. Uh, I gotta say Conrad's, I know that's a basic answer, yeah, but... Do you have to do your dad's at the restaurant? I, I, okay, Kelly Collins, if he's watching this, he, <laughs> if I did say Harrison Roadhouse, he might have my head. But, I will say this, if you're doing, like, distinct East Lansing spot, like, I'm not saying, like, the chains, because I do like some, like, the McDonald's and the Taco Bell's up here more than that, but, like, if you're throwing, like, East Lansing in and out, it's probably Conrad's or Crunchy. Yeah, I would recently had crunchy with you guys for the first time. I think that's that's my Crunchies favorite spot. Is legit. I yeah. think for, for one, the food's really great, but as Atmo. Ryan likes to say, the Atmo is Fantastic. electric Atmo. in that place. Yeah, yeah. Crunchies breathes East Lansing. East Lansing is not East Lansing without Crunchies, and Crunchies is not Crunchies without East Lansing. Yep. Crunchies one hundred percent. There's no there's no contest. Okay. There's no contest. I think there's a contest, no, 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 but Crunchies yeah. is the best spot. Yeah, because we were throwing in chain suits. And Harris Rudd. And Harris Rudd. just said McDonald's. Like, that that McDonald's green and white McDonald's? No, but the, the green and white McDonald's is unbelievable. 
you're just lying to yourself and you don't like to talk about it. Great yeah. atmosphere in there, too. Yeah. You go Great there, atmo. You, you go there at 1 and 30 in the morning, you don't know what will happen. <laughs> that, you know, you yeah. show me, still yeah. the funniest yeah. thing I've yeah. seen. Good atmo, yeah. Basketball just are usually good. Yeah, there's basketball. I'd love, I mean, I'm a bigger Michigan State football fan, I'd probably say, but I, the basketball is usually a better product. Yeah, I'm a hockey guy. I love the hockey team. Stop. stop but, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not done. Okay. But I love watching basketball. This is a basketball school. I don't care what Ryan Core or anyone else has to say, but it just, it's a basketball school. It goes I mean, back it, and forth. It doesn't go back and forth, it but it's a basketball school. It is. It is. Okay. It's basketball. It's Who is the most attractive? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, Miles Teller can play you pretty well. You said I that mean, for me. I don't even know that guy is. Miles Teller is fun, but yeah. I mean, I could be, I mean, Top Gun 2, me and Miles Teller. You are uh, the same guy. Glenn Powell? No, no, no. Set it up. Okay, dude, Glenn Powell's my man. He's my, <laughs> I don't look like him at all, but Glenn Powell and everybody wants some. Great film. Great film. That's really good movie. I think it's set it up with Zoe Dodge. Great movie. Did you answer the question? <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking. <laughs> Vince Vaughn would play me in a movie. Vince Vaughn? Vince Vaughn, yeah. Okay, I'm going to say Miles Teller because I want to be the most attractive guy out of all of those. Well, you're not. Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Michael B. Jordan easily. Awkward yeah. moment. Great film. Really good movie. Great film. Sure.